hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk about bachelor episode 13 and 14 so welcome back to my channel okay let's go everyone is still sad about finally leaving so we have Brandon and Andrew they are still crying about the loss of uh, uh, honey we learned from Jessina that part that is coming to the to its end so breakers are coming also only strong couple will survive so we already know that so strong couple will stay while all the breakup are coming Andrew said that honey is a husband material it's, it's not it's unfortunate that Eliza didn't realize that she will learn about that. It will be a lesson for her to learn. Prando said that he's so thankful for Serene, so he's never gonna stop loving her. So, so we have Justin and Eliza. Eliza said Justin doesn't know that she's coming. So you remember the last time they showed Eliza going to Baltimore and she won, she knocked at Justin's door and we saw how Justin face, he was so surprised about what happened so she says she doesn't justin doesn't know that she's coming and i say homeless movie are ruining our life i say that because i wish eliza called justin first eliza talked to justin about a decision how she felt like they also pressure she realized that she made the wrong decision and broke this off with Rani and justin as about Rani, I understand Justin, he wanted like to support his friend. That's why he asked about J Rani. But Eliza said like she like she told Justin like she break she told Justin I break things off with Rani the next day after you left. So I realized that you're the one for me. That's one year stuff like that. He said he used Eliza war against her, so she was saying she said something about her niece. Do anything wrong, like you're an amazing person, you deserve someone who's gonna like choose you without hesitation, you know, and without any second thoughts. Justin is using the same war against Eliza. Oh, he said he wants someone who's sure about him. I want someone who's sure about me, uh, who chose me first without any hesitation. Um, you said something there to Rodney that like you deserve somebody who's gonna like like choose you first without hesitation, right? And like that's exactly like how I feel right now. I just want someone who like is so sure about me. I'm like seriously, Justin, come on. I'm like I understand like I understand that Eliza made a mistake, but she realized the next day, immediately the next day and she came to find you. I wish she have call, She should have called you first and just talk on the phone and see where the relation go. I wish she didn't fly up, you know, all the romance movies ruin our life. Thinking that, oh, if you go to someone at the end, it's just going to accept you. I'm like, kind of, it's kind of sad. And also, it's kind of like a high expectation to tell Eliza, I wish you had chose me first. Like, if you really love someone, if you really do, you will accept her. Even... I, I don't want to say, like, even if she didn't put you first, she realized she was in a difficult position with both of them. She made the decision that she think was right for her, was kind of influenced by other people, but at the end she realized that the decision that she made wasn't the decision that she wanted to make. But the fact that Justin said he wants somebody who put it first, I understand. That's what you want, understand? But I feel like you use her war against her. There's nothing that she can do now because... You want someone who put you first. She didn't put you first, though. It didn't work. I wish I was a call Justin Fair. It's, it's the modern fairy tale, just like Serena Gomez. So, the modern fairy tale, no happy ending. This is the modern fairy tale, no happy ending. Seriously, poor Eliza. What a waste of a trip. She couldn't go, like, leave Baltimore, go to D.C., see museum, come and see me at the museum, uh, go visit all the museums, I see. I know a trip that has been a waste. And she left. I don't want people to be mean to our lives and say, oh, you did this to Ryan, so you deserve that. That would be so mean. Seriously. She did the best that she could. 
even if you didn't work with Jesse or work with Honey, in the future she will like take that and use it like whatever relationship she wanna build in the future. And I just wish her good luck. And I'm happy for her. I wish her good luck in whatever she wanna do in the future. Okay, back at the beach, they are still crying about Rani I say, come on, get over it. Move on, move on. They are like still crying like Rani die or something. I don't understand those people. You can if you find love. I know you find friendship. You're already friends with me. Paradise literally ends in one week. Why are you crying over Rani who left early? You guys are about to leave. Pack your bag in one or two days, even in a week. You're not going to stay in Paradise forever. So Ma from Clayton season came to Paradise with a dead car. Everyone looks so down. She talked to Brandon, she talked to Logan, and she also talked to John, uh, Johnny. And she talked to Justin, one of the twins. She took me on a date, Victoria. See, Florence might be packing her bag to go back to the land of Kango and Koala. <laughs> Ma took Justin on the date, poor Justin. He already be on the date, like with his twin brother and Florence, like they were doing all the food stuff. They take him again to another day where there's more food. And they have like, they put butter all over each other. They put flour over each other and also chocolate. And at the end of this episode, uh, episode 13, by the credit, what did they do? They put even, they went to like to the, hot top, they think it's going to be water or it's more chocolate. Like they were pranking them. I kind of feel bad for them because they felt like, oh, we need to remove this disgusting food on our body and more, more chocolate again. Okay. Johnny opened up to Victoria. So we see couple who are getting closer. Johnny opened up to Victoria by his brother. One of his brothers is in prison. Things it's, it's kind of hard for his family right now. And he said he wouldn't really just open up to people about that. He really care about Victoria. He actually start to consider the engagement part of this. He say like, like the possibility of engagement. It happened when he was not even looking for it. Uh, we see Genevieve and Alan just just walking down the beach, being so happy. Um, I said maybe they will get engaged. I don't know. Maybe they will get engaged. Michael is all of all the people business is giving advice to everyone about the relationship. Kid again talking about Logan. The fact that he's 26, the fact that he's driving the orange Honda, the fact that he's a dog walker. Logan is 26 years old, not established, drives an orange Honda has a broken phone or you know he's a dog walker and the last time i forgot to mention that kate said that logan can afford like to walk out at equinox it's like a gym a very expensive gym and she have like a trainer or something like that yeah she will say all those things about logan he can change his age kate he can and she kept talking stay talking down about logan what he is, what he does, and stuff like that. We got Logan and Kate, they have a talk. Logan said that he was hurt at the whole ceremony. You remember the whole ceremony? Um, Logan didn't like that. She told him to step up. Um, they see things differently, right? For Logan, like addressing uh, the, how much she cared about Kate in front of people, that was really something that he did. It was a grand gesture, it was something big. She, uh, he did and we think that they are on the same place for Kate that wasn't enough she want Logan to do more stuff to keep doing more to give her more to take more initiative so that that moment in the rain was basically nothing it was something but it wasn't enough for her Logan said he liked Kate and he cared about her but he's afraid that that the, the disagreement will harm them at some point later and it has its own dictionary now his new world is nectar. Nectar means like everything is, that's good in the world. Just a quick reminder, just a refresher, is nectar is anything that's good in the world. You say nectar, it is that saying different phrase. Everybody gave their own example of nectar. This is nectar. When the sun dips low beyond the horizon. Nectar? Yes, sweet nectar. When you're hanging 10 in the tube and it's totally firing. Nectar. Nectar. Maybe 
paradise is nectar <laughs> i don't even know or maybe it's just a drama who knows so and we have like the love triangle that nobody asks about but we have it justin one twin florence and my love triangle you remember justin went on the date with flo with Ma, sorry justin went on the date with Maha, and he came back for the date so he didn't really he went on the date with Ma without without telling flo and he went on the date and he came back he didn't really talk to florence about how the date went and florence was sitting on in the day bed with joey shane and yeah, Joe and Shani and Justin came with Ma sitting on the same thing, but Flo was saying, this is Apple. I don't know what's going on here. I don't like that. So Flo was ready to go. She said, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm not about this love triangle. I just want to pack my bag and go. Um, Justin finally stepped up and went to see Flo. He said, he went on the date with Ma, but his connection with Florence is better. So he want to continue that <laughs> connection. And Justin finally had a talk with Maha. He told her that he was attracted to her, but he loved his connection with Florence. So that's the connection you want to put to him. Maha wasn't happy about that. And she went kind of with the other girl. <laughs> yeah, she's like, you so I told me that yesterday or something like that. So he continued his relationship with Florence. Logan and Kate. Logan said a dream to Kate. So Logan like Logan talked with Kate in a, about like him taking more initiative. So now he decided to do those things. So he decided to take more initiative to show Kate how much he cared about her. So he sent a dream to Kate, but Kate for Kate is like, this is for you. you need to do more. <laughs> Logan sent this. Love to see the initiative. Oh my god, he did? That's yeah, sweet. That's Stop, sweet. that is yeah. cute. Well it was free, so good. <laughs> it doesn't have fit six figure to do the grand gesture so this is where she wants something that's more than just a drink but she appreciate that maybe well, she still appreciate that and we have like michael doesn't think that someone will come here of course who at this point we should know we should never listen to what michael say because everything that michael said the opposite always happened we all know that already so michael c doesn't think everyone will come and who's coming a new girl is coming and c for clayton season is coming and um, and she put andrew to talk to him andrew seemed to know a little bit about mc mc he said that she's from New York. She's from he wanted she said she's from Clayton Caesar. I to say I know. Um and another girl coming for another side and we have Lindsay. She's also for Clayton Caesar. She pulled Logan to talk to him. Logan is happy about his relationship with Kate. He said, but Lindsay's a babe. She's a babe. When he see a new girl, it's like, oh his eyes do something. I like you never go with Logan. And Lindsay asked Logan, so the two girls asked the date, she said, MC say, Andrew, do you want to go on the date with me? Andrew say yes. And Lindsay say, Logan, do you want to go on the date with me? Logan say, oh, I have to talk to Kate. Because when he had his conversation with Lindsay, he told her that I still have my connection with, I have a connection with Kate. And I need to ask her about the date if I need to go on the date. So Logan pulled Kate and he talked to her. He said, I want to talk to you. Kate said, I can't even believe that you consider going on a date. I'm confused that you're even entertaining this based on our conversation last night. I don't want you to go on any date. I don't want you to go on any date. Uh, so, Logan have to turn that means they say, I'm sorry you came a little bit late. Uh, I kind of wish if she was there earlier, I would, something I would have considered going on a date with you, but it's kind of late now. I have a connection because so she doesn't want me to go on any date so he established the connection and when when kate was talking to logan somebody told lindsay oh you look like elsa oh my god thank you so much <laughs> though she got like blonde hair but it's a little bit white that make her look a little bit like princess like she's very pretty so she looked like a princess she looked like elsa so when logan told lindsay i don't i can't go on a date with you she just decided to leave I just don't think my person is here. 
So he decided to go home. She doesn't want to stay and watch her friend or couple up. Kate said that her connection with Logan is stronger. I'm like, I don't know about that. The more Kate said her relationship is stronger with Logan, the more I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't know. The more she tried to grab Logan and say this and that, the more Logan is starting to... I don't know about this relationship because in the past he was so happy, excited. Logan now, it doesn't feel like he's himself. It feel like it caused I say at some point of the episode he said that he feel like he always has his guard up, like compared to the party for more like his son because he has to always do more for Kate. Now it doesn't feel like his his self and that will affect the relationship at some point. So Andrew and NC went to the date. Andrew said that he has been his 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 journey powder has been eventful. It has been an eventful paradise for him. He lost his spark. So this spark that we are talking about is when he had this spark with Taddy, right? They didn't tell MC that. So he said he have like a spark. He's been he lost his spark. He's been trying to find that ever since then. So since MC came, I kind of feel like his spark came back a little bit. And he felt some romantic connection with MC. MC. Shani is being like the friend that everybody talk to about the relationship. <laughs> you see Shani talking to Kate and now uh, Jason, yeah. So because like Andrew is on the date with NC, so Jason is worried. She doesn't think that Andrew will even open up to NC because Andrew has been really down, down, down. And Andrew was so happy and excited about his date with NC. They were like on the pool doing all the things, kissing and blah, blah, blah. Andrew said he want to pursue the relationship, the connection with, the connection with Ansi, and they have a very good day. Andrew bought things off with Jesenia. Gabby and Rachel are here. All Clayton and are so close. They are so happy. They hug each other. I'm like, wow, so many Claytons, girl. Meanwhile, Gabby <laughs> and Rachel asses feel so awkward. I'm talking about Logan. I'm talking about Tyler. I'm talking about. Oh, uh, Johnny, so Gabby, S is yeah, they have, they, they feel weird to see the two bachelor right here. That's where episode 13 finished. Let's talk about episode 14. Episode 14, now we see Gabby and Russia. No, they want to say almost bad. Da, 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 so when they do the intro, I say, why is Gabby Russia intro? I didn't see any Gabby Russia intro. This episode will explain why they didn't even get the intro. They open up the talk, the showcase. She say Selene and Brando already sent the wedding invitation because like, they are so close. The way I look about like which couple gonna make it, they say Selene. Kate says Selene and Brando. They already sent the wedding invitation at this point. So for them, it's already the wedding. That was funny. Gabby and Rachel are here and they're still, they're still, I'm like, they're still bold and gay. If you watch this video now, you know that uh, Rachel and Tino didn't even make out of the the Bachelorette final episode because they already broke things up and Gabby and Eric recently broke things up. You know, all the bachelor that was engaged, they are not engaged anymore. But at this point of the journey, when they came to Parada, they were both engaged. So all the girls were so happy to see their engagement with the Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I say, Jeremy was yelling so much when she saw the engagement rings. Oh, uh, yeah. So all the girls are so happy for them because both of them are engaged at this point. In the past now we are in the future in the future they are not anymore they are not engaged anymore so Rachel and Gabby talk to the girls like in a group and um, they, they talk about the guy from the season they only have um, I think Brittany asked about Tyler she said no Brittany said she's with Tyler Rachel and Gabby have only good thing to say about Tyler how a good guy he is how special it is so Brina is happy to hear that about Tyler because she has a connection with Tyler and it's good to know that she's with really, really a great guy, you know. I'm like Victoria says she's with Johnny, but they didn't they didn't show Gabby and Russia saying something about Johnny or Gabby saying something about Johnny. I'm like all I once one I learned for this 
conversation with Guardian Rachel and Victoria is just that Johnny didn't talk, Victoria wish special like he was dating. I immediately had a connection with Johnny. I don't know which one of you was dating Johnny. Um, but... <laughs> I was surprised. Because when uh, Gabby's, uh, Victoria said, I don't know which bachelor he was dating. Come you can tell the girl you, you consider proposed to that you were dating Gabby. She should at least know which bachelor you were dating. Oh, she didn't ask, I don't know, so she didn't know that. But that wasn't the main focus of the conversation. The main focus was Kate. And before that conversation, we learned so much about Logan. Logan said, his ass is right here. So Logan get dating Aisha. And then he switched to Gabby. He came to paradise dating Shane. And then he went on the date with Sarah. Now he's dating Kate. And I don't know who said he was constantly going on the day with Lizzie. That's six girl. That's six girl. Six girl. <laughs> is he the bachelor? I don't know who said somebody says he's think he's the bachelor or what. Like and six of them are all Clayton girls. There is pretty much a second bachelor. <laughs> That's six girl for Clayton season. So I'm getting Rachel and Gabby have a talk with Kate. I like that Victoria and the other girl are not judging Logan based on of, of his past and his past being Rachel and Gabby season. And they are just basing Logan based on what they see in Parada. And what they see in Parada is Logan is a good guy. I might not like the thing that happened with Shane because I like after Shane. I make my video very clear, I was like, I'm team Shani because I didn't really like Kate back then. Now, I don't mind Kate because she's fine with Shani, so I don't mind her. She do the drama, she do whatever, I don't care. I don't mind her at all. Back then, I was like, I'm team Shani. But right now, everybody seems to get along, so I pass that drama. Just like the girl, I don't judge people based on what they say yeah, they be in the past. Like, Victoria said that if you judge people based on the past experience, none of us we have, we have a second chance in But also, if you judged everyone based off their past experience, then we would, yeah. none of us would have a chance. That's right. Yeah. So that's right. a good point. Paradise is kind of the second chance. You look at Shane, the what she have like in, in the bachelor, like she didn't even get along with any of those girls. Now they are all friends. So we shouldn't be, um, judge people based on the past experience. So we just, for what they are seeing paradise, what they are seeing paradise, Logan is a good guy. Rachel and Gabby, they talked to Kate. Uh, Rachel said that Logan brought him with her because he was like in the position of power. It's like, I feel like when he broke up with me, it was almost he was in the position of power. I kind of like, I love Rachel, but I don't agree with that. Logan was in the position of power. He brought it with, with you even before finding that if you have a chance with Gabby. He brought it with you without even knowing that he was going to stay or go. He brought it with you and he wanted to see Gabby. He didn't even secure Gabby holes before he brought it with you, but I love you, Rachel, but I don't agree with that. He was in the position of power. He was in the bad position. He was he wasn't even really sure if Gabby was gonna accept him. Rachel said she doesn't respect Logan, she doesn't think he has changed. I mean I don't respect Logan. Yeah. I don't think Logan has changed. So that's I understand that's Rachel's opinion. And what I saw in Paradise, I'm like I understand Rachel journey has been so difficult. So difficult. You saw we saw like crying and crying. It was such a difficult journey. And what Logan did wasn't good and that was her experience. I understand her. But after they both talked to Kay, Gabby told Logan to treat her girl right. They make it they talk to Kay. Gabby and Rachel talk to Kay and they like make ask it, it's your decision and whatever you choose to do. It's up to you, hi. Gabby told Logan, oh, treat my girl well. Hey, I have beef. You. you treat my girl well. You treat her well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. She was talking about Kate. Uh, I'm like, actually, Gabby came to, to steal the part. Because, like, as soon as they came, they finished talking to the girl. 
and and can, they just laugh. I'm like, now I understand why they were not in the intro, but technically they should have put them in the intro. Should I put them in the intro in this episode? I don't know. They came and they left so quickly. Yeah, they were gone as soon as they came back. I'm like, now I want to say something. Sally, Eliza, Gabby, Rachel, Lindsay. Who else? You guys are wasting money, plane ticket. Sally can't come into Barda and leaving so quickly. I don't know. We all know Genevieve and, and Chanel was the cause of Sally leaving quickly and decided to go. One plane ticket wasted, or all the other plane ticket that Sally didn't get to. Eliza going to Baltimore, Maryland to kind of win Justin, and at the end, it didn't work out. And that's all that's. Hopefully, she went to DC at least visit all the museums. That means it wouldn't feel like a waste. Gabby and Rachel coming to Panda for two minutes and then leave. Wasting plane ticket, wasting money. Lindsay coming to Panda decided to leave quickly because she didn't go on a date with Logan. Another plane ticket that there was. Oh my god, what's going on with Panda this season? People come and go so quickly. Yeah. Now we have Tyler got a date card. Tyler won with his relationship with Britney to go stronger, just like all the other couples, just like Victoria and jo Johnny, just like Celine and Brandon, just like Genevieve and Ellen. I don't know about Genevieve and Ellen. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I understand what you mean, Tyler. I understand what you mean by that. Wanting to have like a strong relationship also. So we have Ellen and Genevieve. I was just talking about them. Let's talk about them. And Jeremy are fighting. And the most stupidest thing ever. You think they're gonna fight about big stuff? They are fighting against the difference. Ishing and pain. I will say this is a stupid fight. This has to be the stupidest of stupid of the stupidest fight of the history of fight. Well say that this place is making me think of saving say that issues has is is a discomfort she doesn't feel like it's pain it's just a discomfort when you scratch yourself it's just a discomfort she doesn't feel like it's pain Genevieve and Erin were fighting I don't know apparently Erin hates his voice Genevieve start packing her bag she's the queen of packing bags so she start packing her bag that she's leaving and yeah she's when she heading to the jungle park, you know what they did before. And then we see the camera guy. He say, in paradise, he see he has seen a lot of paradise episodes. He saw a lot of people scratching. Uh, he saw a lot of people scratching the surf, but listening to Genevieve and Aaron, listening to these people, Genevieve and Aaron, has caused him so much pain. <laughs> Maybe he solved the problem of Genevieve and Ellen by saying that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why did I feel that Genevieve and Ellen planned this thing to have more screen time? I just want to say that. It's pretty much the same thing that happened before. They just, but this time is bad acting. They're fighting again in the jungle part. They plan this thing. They plan this thing. Let's fight against something stupid. To get more screen time and they plan this whole thing but they were not acting well enough this time and like they orchestrate this one to end more screen time this is my opinion i even told genevieve that itch is low level it's a low level of pain it feel like i feel like i'm losing some princess just by listening to those people they're fighting in the jungle park again I talk about what I say about earlier about these two people getting engaged. I don't know. Maybe they will get engaged even when they plan to get married and at the end they will be so dramatic like we watch Love is Blind. You don't know. Those people, something stupid will happen. They will fight again. I say, who care about itches? Who care about pain? Not me. Genevieve, 
we always have a bank ready to go. She, she will have a bank ready to go and every small argument with Aaron. Aaron will always try to fight with Genevieve about every little thing. What will be the next fight? Since they are acting in the orchestra, if I can give them some idea. Maybe the difference between sleeping and dreaming. What about eating and drinking? What about liking and loving? What about crying and smiling? What about walking and honey? Who knows what they're going to fight about next time? They finally kiss and make up. We have Joey and Shani. Uh, Joey wants to continue his relationship with Shani also. Of this, there seems to be in a good place. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike uh, and Daniel are getting serious. Jason and Mara don't have any connection there, but they didn't live yet. Yes, I don't know. I don't know what they're hoping for. I feel bad. Tyler and Britney did. Now they show Tyler and Britney did. Um, Britney said that she's going on a date with her boyfriend, Tyler. I'm like, oh, they already put the title. I guess they already defined the relationship. Good for them. I'm happy for them. I am happy for a happy couple. Britney asked about Rachel. Tyler said that, oh, Rachel, when Rachel broke things off with him, she said that I'm... You're a great guy. I'm sure you're going to find someone special. And you think that that person special is Britney. Britney is happy about that. Britney said to Tyler, Gabby and Rachel only have great things to say about you. They didn't say anything wrong. Only great things to say about you. Tyler said that he wants to live here like Bada with Britney. I'm like, I was a little bit like thinking, oh, Britney, don't. You guys are already established. Don't push the engagement part too quickly. Because like they, they, when I was looking at Britney, I got the impression that she wanted to be engaged to Tyler. I'm like, you guys are a solid couple. Take that relationship. Work on that. Don't rush the engagement part in one way. Let that two couple like Serene and Brandon just live with your boyfriend and figure life outside of this. I didn't want her to put pressure on the engagement, but I'm glad she didn't. They were just enjoying the time, just dance outside, just have a playful fun. She think, she feel like, oh, I felt like I'm in high school again. I, I was just happy for them. And then Becca and Thomas are here. <laughs> big body trash can and big body trash can <laughs> maker. <laughs> what did I learn that? I learned that from watching Game of Thrones. So I'm I'm surprised Thomas didn't have a talk with Ellen, or they didn't show us that talk. Thomas has a glow. I know Thomas was handsome, but damn, he look even more handsome now. I don't know. He have that glow of I came in this guy. He's so hot. Good for Beckham. Good for Thomas. So. So, Becca said she proposed to Thomas. Thomas said it was so, a very humble thing. He's so happy. And so she said, Becca said she inspired this, her proposing Thomas inspired this new thing like girl asking boy for like, they came with something like this CD, hockey's dance. Actually kind of mirroring my proposal to Thomas. We want to invite you all to the first, first annual Sadie Hawkins Paradise. They're asking boy to go on the dance, right? So that would be like the palm thing. And you know, usually guys do all the big gesture. This time girl, we do that. And the tip is like the 1910, the 1910. Uh, <laughs> this funny thing, uh, Logan say, oh, the 90 was like the, a great time of his life. He learned how to like use the toilet or something like that. He was like four or something. I don't even know how old he was. He was a baby. He was learn how to use the toilet, learn how to do this, learn how to do that. <laughs> and we have Michael say, oh, I was going to my school dance and stuff like that. It's like you see the different generation, the age and stuff like that. That's just funny. Okay. Now this is how the girl asked the boy for the to the dance. Genevieve asked Aaron about Sonerate. Sonerate him with like the Mario to Ben. Ma, 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 ma. Aaron said yes. And we have Brit um, we have Britney coming out of like those little ball balloon as Tyler. Tyler said yes. 
if you have saving but a lot of candy to Brandon and Brandon say yes Victoria make a whole checklist you know the checklist was like a problem <laughs> in the relationship she had the checklist asking Johnny to the dance Johnny said yes and we have like Shani as Joey Flo as Justin they both say yes but they didn't show they were like in the background of because they were putting more the attention to Kate Kate and Logan relationship was still shaking so we don't know yet because she have the talk with Gabby and Rachel what's gonna happen there we don't know Kate and Logan have a talk again and they were trying to communicate better she brought the thought that she loved Gabby and Rachel Kate asked Logan, I just don't want to be another girl because, you know, they were like little six girl. She doesn't want to be like someone that when you see the new girl, it's like, no, no, thank you. Let's move on to the new girl. Logan said, no, you are the one that we her. is not going to go for another girl, blah, 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 blah. They have the talk, they kiss and make up. Kate asked Logan to the date, to the dance, and Logan said, yes. Oh, now we are in the Sandy Husky, uh, Husky dance at the Vidanda. Uh, in the dance, they have a lot of fun thing. They have the photo booth. They have caricature. They, they caricature different couple. We have seen the brand. They are already talking about engagement. Like they're gonna do the dance thing. They're gonna do it. And we have the twin. They dress up like a ninety band. Like I don't even know. I forgot all the name of those ninety band. Like they are way of white office. They look good. You know, is it worst life? I don't know. You are the this way. I'm one of those bands. I have Daniel and Michael, they are talking about the future. They are not there yet. In the I love you part, they are not saying like I love you like they're saying a brand all the time. They, they haven't said I love you yet. They are not there yet. But they say that there's a lot of things to discuss. You know, you remember Michael has a child and if you consider bringing somebody to his life, he has to think about his child and stuff like that. So he tried to be serious. But he really care about Daniel, but he didn't say he love her yet. So we don't know what's gonna happen between the two. Boys and girls have like a dance competition. We see the boy, they do the thing. We see the girl, they do the thing. It looks so fun here. Yeah. I'm like, what else can happen? Are we gonna have drama yet? You never know. We can have like a, they can have like a good day. The drama is coming, always coming somewhere. Tyler, Brandon and Andrew, they are very great dancers. I give that to them. I'm a dancer. I dance. But they are really great dancers. Especially, especially Brandon. I was very surprised by Brandon. The way he moved his body on the floor. It's so good. Um, we have the love triangle that nobody asked for. And Jesenia, Andrew, and MC. I thought this love triangle was over because the last time Andrew told Jesenia that he wanted to pursue the connection with MC. I thought that was finished. Apparently it wasn't. So Jesenia asked to talk to... No, Jesenia talked to Mara first. Jesenia said that this has been her situation last summer. I'm like... Let me check my brain. Uh, yes. Jesenia was in the situation with Chris and Alana. And the same, literally the same thing happened at the prom thing. It's exactly the same situation. Like, not, like, not exactly the same, same situation, but it's exactly, it happened at the same moment. She was still in the love time. I'm going at this way. Oh girl, like your life is like things are just repeating yourself. I kind of feel bad for the senior about that. And I poor the you know, you should have not, you should have not stayed with Andrew. Let me see, I'm not like, I'm not like, I'm not going to say something bad about Andrew because I don't think Andrew did something wrong. It's clear to all of us that Andrew was not really into the senior, but she was kind of fighting for like that connection. They have something, but it was like a friendship lap. A little bit of relationship, but he was not excited. He was just, Andrew was just there to be there. I just don't know. He didn't have, there was no spark. I even said to an NC date, like, oh, like, I felt like I lost my spark. It came a little bit back when you came back. So 
I feel bad for Jesenia. Because she, she could have spent her time with somebody, pursuing somebody, and she pursued Andrew. And there was no spark between them. So Jacinda ended up Andrew, she wanted to end up MC, MC and Andrew, like they were playing with the ball and stuff like that. She ended up them, she wanted to talk to Andrew, and Jacinda asked Andrew, what is your goal in paradise? Andrew said, I'm here to find love. Jacinda talked about Andrew talk because he said, you dating Teddy, now then Whitney, now me, and now MC, that's four girls. Like, how are you going to find love like that? Uh, Andrew said, that's the way paradise work. Like, you you find that if you have a connection with somebody and stuff like that. Jacinda said her experience has been, she said that, and the experience has been like a boy trip. It has been a boy trip for him, just spend time with the boy. And just said that he was gonna go home and then NC came. He has her uh, the last thing with NC. I'm like, poor Jacinda, you were not even in the picture. I'm like, oh when when they were showing us the connection with Jacinda and Andrew. We know that they didn't, they didn't show a lot of spe uh, screen. They didn't get a lot of screen time because there was not something there. I don't know if it was a friendship or a relationship. They were kissing. They would do. She was doing a lot of things for him, but we all know that she was more into Andrew than he was into her. That's why I feel even bad for her. When Andrew said that he he was gonna go home, and then Nancy came in one and like to pursue that connection. Now he was talking to Jesenia. NC came to interrupt the conversation that he has with Jesenia. And to told NC that he want to finish that conversation. NC was upset. NC, she was upset about that. She left. And then she came back again. Oh, poor girl. She sh you should have left them have that conversation. I know Andro know Jesenia maybe more than he know NC. So even though he was talking to Jesenia, for him, he wasn't like tired to like, he wanted like Jacinda to understand him and he wanted like to maintain like the friendship that they have so she doesn't like say you did that to me you did that because Andrew that wasn't his intention to do it anything to hurt her so and Nancy came again she asked Andrew go with uh, to go with her if you want to pursue something with her that was bad girl that was in the moment this is that told NC are you giving him an ultimatum oh poor girl poor girl and this is that to NC that's not fair you shouldn't do that after talking to Jacinda, Andrew realized that because she was talking Andrew was still talking with Jacinda. even when NC came the second time to say come with me I don't know why you're entertaining this conversation you don't want to be with her, blah, 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 blah. Just come with me. Uh, I don't want you to keep talking to her. And just saying, no. He keeps saying, I'm going to talk to you later. He kept talking to Jesenia. And Andrew was talking to her. And he realized, he said, my heart is with someone else. My heart is still with someone else. But, like, I am so trying to. Same. Da, da, da. The love triangle that he was never there. He was never in this love triangle. He was never there. And that person is Teddy. You know, Andrew said he spent four days with Teddy. Those were like the best day that he have. He have a connection with her. And after she left, he's been trying to find that spark. He spent time with Britney, it wasn't there. He spent time with Jessenia, it wasn't there. NC came, it was kind of like a spark because later when he talked to NC, he said, I like you. But he explained the situation, what happened. NC said that you just walk away when we were playing. So that's why she came to find you. Andrew said that he has to parasite people feeling. So he just doesn't want people to feel something bad about him. So he wanted to clear, have that conversation with Jessenia. Um, because he still want to be fine with her also I just and um, Andrew told NC that a part of him is still with Taji so he was honest with NC even though he liked NC he loved Taji he liked NC but he loved Taji oh my god he loved Taji oh I feel bad for Andrew 
I understood that he can't be here anymore because he felt like this is too much for him. It's already like the drama. He, I don't know if it's the television, the environment is not good for him anymore. Well, by talking to Jacinda, I realized that he's still in love. I'm not going to say like at this one. Come on. He's still in love with Taddy. He, he had that spark for Taddy. He wanted to pursue something to find the new connection. He, he's been trying four girls, three girls since Daddy. Even though he liked NC and he loved Daddy. He told that, um, he told NC that, a part of him is still retarded, so he can't be here anymore. He wants to go up. I feel bad for NC. She can beg me. She NC is begging me. So, please, Andrew, please don't go. Please don't leave. Please, I beg you. Please don't leave. I'm begging you. Please don't leave. Please, 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 don't go. Please, she even hold him. Please, don't go. Don't go. Andrew, please, you can I can not say I can't. I can the more he beg, the more MC beg, the more Anto wanna go. The more she can beg, the more Anto. After MC, you should not even beg once. She should say, okay, I understand. You can go. I know I understand I'm not the first one for you. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Good luck with your journey, whatever you say. Oh, I feel bad. She beg Anto like 10 times. I'm like, uh, please have some dignity. Have some Please, please. She came holding the Andrew. Please don't go. Please, Andrew, please. I'm begging you, Andrew, don't go. The more she's holding Andrew, the more Andrew was like, get me out of here. It was like, and then he was like, Phew, he left. Please let me go. I have to go. I'm sorry. He said he, he great Michael by leaving and he left. And you have Anto Limo exist. Love is a powerful thing you, that you need to share with someone you can live with that. And don't say that when Teddy left, he was never the same. He doesn't know that if what he wants with Teddy is something he can have. But that's that's how I feel right now. I feel bad for Andrew. Because you really know how Andrew was all giggly at the beginning of the season about Daddy. He can't even he couldn't even talk to her because it was so giggly, it was so like like a baby who couldn't control his emotion. He was like a teenager. He was so happy. I feel bad. Talking to Jesenia, talking to MC Realis, even though he liked Ansi, uh, 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 if he wasn't like in love with Daddy, he would like consider pursuing something with Ansi or if he move on, like if he move on, uh, he knew like, I don't know what's going to happen with Andrew. But the way I see, the way he's talking, the father is still love. Daddy, I don't think this is a bachelor speech. You know, when you leave, you do your bachelor speech. I want to like, you say, oh, I can't wait. I want to fall in love again. Just like, just like, honey, you say, why me? He didn't say, why me? It was like. Ah, the way he was talking, it's like, oh, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. That's not something that will make you the best bachelor. I don't know if Teddy wants this and she want to consider, like, a relationship with him in a safe environment when they don't feel like people are all over the business. If Teddy want to give a second try, I would say, I'm happy for you and whatever happened. If Teddy see this. If there's a possibility of a relationship, I will vote for you. Or if you heal after a few more and maybe someone like NC or somebody else, just good luck with everything. Andrew was a great guy and he's not a bad guy. Even Jesenia know that he's not a bad guy. He, he didn't mean to like... Maybe the biggest mistake he did wasting Jesenia time. But Jesenia knew that Andrew wasn't into her. She tried so hard. She tried so hard. So Andrew left. Jacinda also said her goodbye. She left. I mean, the fact that Andrew didn't stay and see, she also left. <laughs> She's like crying in the car. She's like, <laughs> like every morning, I'm crying on. Somebody give her some napkin. Come on, give her some napkin. I feel bad for NC. <laughs> uh, I feel bad. For, I feel bad for the three of them, and I feel bad for Taddy. This love square. I don't know what's gonna be. 
in the future, but I really hope I will find someone. Whether it's Daddy or MC or I don't even know or Jisenya or somebody else. Hopefully get over that love that you have for Daddy. Or maybe the support you never know. Maybe the possibility that he's with Daddy. Good luck with everything and so this is why the episode and thank you so much for watching Rape it VIP episode 13 and 14. Next week we're gonna have the two night finally of the bachelorette and I just want to say the episode will be a little bit late because it's not gonna be sad today because I'm watching Dance with the Star and and next week is Thanksgiving week, so I will probably be with my family. I will probably post but not next weekend, maybe probably the week after. Thank you so much for watching episode 13 and 14 of BIP. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.